So I'm curious, do you find that a lot of musicians like, like taking your, 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 your craft seriously or like the pursuit of your craft seriously, do you find that that's taboo amongst musicians? And why do you think that is if you do find it taboo? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think that. It, I mean, even like here in Jacksonville, which isn't considered an aggressive musical like scene, I meet musicians every day, whether they play rock or funk or whatever, and they are serious about their craft. Um, they may not have it as a full time job. They may not, you know, make a full living from it. But like, they play every weekend or they do whatever. So I, I don't, I don't buy into the like musicians don't take themselves seriously. But I don't think musicians understand how to maximize what they do. Right. You know, like I have a lot of friends here who like they they are incredible artists, but they have a day job. And I'm like, if you took that time, you know, maybe a month off from your day job and like added that time and energy to what you did, that could make you more money than you would ever make on your day job. Totally. So what I find here in town are people who are afraid to take risk and bet on themselves. And I will say like out of any, if, if people don't remember anything that I say in this podcast, remember this, don't be afraid to bet on yourself. Because that Love to it. me is, <laughs> that to me is the, is the tool or the key entity in being an entrepreneur is the ability to not only take risk, but to bet on yourself. Totally. And if you bet on yourself enough and you you produce, then that it just keeps repeating itself. It's so funny that you say that. Like literally, he says this all the time, and I just make fun of him like for saying <laughs> yeah. this. Not that he's not that he's, Again, not that not, he's wrong or anything right, like right. that. But it's just like you, you're just saying it like literally here. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. Like, okay, I get it. You're like, okay. Yeah. I get right. it. I get it now. <laughs> That's fine. I get it back. You're like, next myself. question. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's that, 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 that's why I say things like that sometimes. You, you, you meet, you meet a lot of people. intervention to quit my day job, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> this is an intervention, quit, yeah, quit, yeah. Quit. <laughs> yeah I, I feel like I've met a lot of people in the, in the music industry or just, you know, more as being a musician that don't take themselves seriously or that, or that think that because you do take yourself seriously, like they don't take you seriously type thing, you know? I mean, and, the other thing is you can't worry about what other people think about Right. You. I mean, and, I, I started calling myself an entrepreneur before people believed it. You know, I mean, every everything you see or read on that that resume or bio is stuff that I dreamed up, and I kept believing it, and I kept saying it until everybody starts saying it. Right. You know, like that, like the fact that you're sitting here being like, "Man, I really want to talk about entrepreneurship with you." It's hilarious to me. Yeah. Because I remember when I would say, no, seriously, because I would say it, I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm an entrepreneur," and people would be like, "Whatever." Now people are like, "So creative entrepreneur, Ulysses Owens," and he's, and I'm like. Yeah, I built that shit. So, but, so I awesome. say that to say, like, like, cause there, I would be in my bedroom, and be like, I'm going to be a creative entrepreneur. My dad's like, a what? What? It, okay, can you pay the rent this month? Yeah. <laughs> you know? But I, but, but that's the the beauty of it. And now, like, I am that. You know. Right. So I think you have to have a vision of what you want to become, and you have to be so hard pressed about it. That's why, like, you know, I, I can't speak to all the other stuff that Kanye. That's exactly is, is who I was done. thinking about. Right? So I, I, I can't that, speak to that. But, but I tell, if you are an entrepreneur or you desire to be an entrepreneur, you have to watch that documentary or, or particularly the first episode. Yep. Yeah. Because th like what was so deep to me, I saw so much of myself in him in that here was a guy who wanted something and could see it and could feel it and it wasn't happening. Yes. But he didn't stop like wanting it or feeling it. And, and what was crazy to me was like now he could like, pee in a corner and it, and it's going to be all over the news. Yeah. You know, so like this Turn guy- into a gold record. Right, like, <laughs> this, like this guy is so relentless that like he became what he wanted to become, but it was so great to see how people kind of thought he was a joke. Yeah. And now there's not a day goes by that his name is not mentioned in some kind of mainstream media. Right. So I, so I say that to say like, I think that's where the belief and the entrepreneurial like thing is really rich and that you have to believe it when nobody else believes it. Did you ever let let that kind of, I guess, dismissiveness towards your mindset, did it ever like really create any self-doubt in you at all? Or did you always just like, even if you were failing or getting rejected, you always knew that you were on, on the right path? Well, there are well, I'll tell you, the times that I doubted the journey is when there's moments of great loss, right? So like the pandemic, pandemic we all lost a lot, right? We mm -hmm. lost a lot of money. We lost people. We lost things. So there were different moments where I was like, have, like, do I need to like pivot? Which the answer was yes, but I didn't need to pivot away from what I was doing. I needed to go deeper into another direction. Right. Um, so there are moments, um, or or where you you go after opportunities and you're like, oh, okay, if I get, you know, if I do this, this, and then I get that, then I'll get here. And when you get to here and that doesn't happen, you're like, what? 
So I had to start learning, like, be open to, like, how you're going to get where you're going to get to. So you may go here, 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 and then, like, come at it from another angle. So I stopped. Like, now I'm getting to a point where I don't worry about getting there. My question for myself is always, what's the journey and what is God always trying to teach me? Um, I now understand this, and I do not mean to come across arrogant. But I will say this. I'm at a place now in my faith in God and in myself. Nothing is going to stop what I want. So I tell people all the time, you can stand in my way if you want, but you're going to get run over. Yeah. So you can either hold hands with me or you can get run over. I, I, <laughs> like I, that's where I'm at now. I love that mentality. Man. <laughs> and what I mean is not, I, and, and I don't mean it from a like what I want from a selfish, arrogant, like what I want, like spoiled kid. No, meaning like when I'm tuned in and tapped into purpose and God's purpose, then nothing can block what the universe and what God wants for you to have. Right. So in that regard, I'm like, you either need to be a part of this. It's like you guys, right? You have this incredible podcast that's going to so turn incredible. into something. So incredible. <laughs> that's going to turn into something even more incredible. Right. And nobody's going to stop that. They can maybe delay it, but nothing's going to stop that. If you keep going, the only thing that can stop you is if you stop. It's the biggest obstacle is yourself, right? I mean, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's it. Read Joshua, dude. <laughs> Sorry, Jericho, dude. I've been in a church there, like twice in my life. Yeah, just Sorry. keep going. <laughs> Even if it's in a circle for seven days at a time. Whatever, just keep going. It's true. And mo most stuff, if you look at your life, most of the things that don't happen is because you stop. Right. Right. No, it's so true, man.